Abu Yasser Institute is here to help For the less fortunate and the less privileged To the righteous ways of Allah And put you through the holy Quran So that you could see the light So that you could see the light من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل جاء الحق وزهق الباطل إن الباطل كان زهوكا ونزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين ولا زد الظالمين إلا خسارة الحمد لله رب العالمين ويتنك الله سبحانه وتعالى for this, for this Islam had it not been for Allah's guidance you and I will never have any position to guide ourselves into this way of life so therefore all praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the nourisher, the sustainer, the evolver, the molder, the shepherd of all the worlds. And the peace and blessings of Allah be upon the last and final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household and companions and all those who follow him until the end of time. Now before I begin my talks, definitely I'm so elated for the fact that uh, we have in our midst ex-reverend Dr. Uthman. I came in when he was presenting, but when I focused my, you know, attention to what he was saying, I was so, you know, I don't know what to say. Should I jump? Should I? I'm so excited. And people like this, we need them to be supported. Absolutely. It is our duty to do the best that we can to instill such a person uh, in our fold of Islam. And we thank Allah for that again. And also... I'm going to begin my talks, and I believe my talk is going to be on uh, uh, the five pillars of uh, Islam in the Old Testament or in the New Testament, or rather in the Bible. And uh, we know very well that the Muslim is not claiming that Islam is the only religion that Allah has sent. In retrospect, Allah sent just one religion. One religion. It is not two religions. It's not three religions, it's not four, five, it is just one religion. Allah in his wisdom has risen so many prophets and messengers from different parts of the world. So Allah said in the Quran, To each and every community, Allah has risen a guide, a messenger. And the central core of the message is to shun from any abomination and believe that Allah is the only one that is supposed to be worshipped. Again, Allah said in the Quran, There is not a community, but a warner have passed through them. And so therefore, from the get-go, the Muslims have no problems at all for believing that Allah has sent a lot of messengers. Some he mentioned in the Quran, some out of his own grace and out of mercy to us, Allah did not mention them. But we believe them in total as coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so today we name ourselves with messengers and prophets from Bani Israel. This is to show that we believe in them. We name our wives, our daughters, the name of Maryam and few other Bani Israel women foes. This is to show that we are one. But the pattern of the way is that the books that they have claiming that it is from Allah, we said, well, yes, some part of it is from Allah, but majority of it is not from Allah, because these books have been tampered with. They have added a lot of information in it that is not supposed to be in, and they've taken some information out of it. In fact, they have made their books, they've, they've made a surgery in their books so to speak. They've made a deep surgery, deep incursion in their books. So the Muslims don't believe in the Bible. In fact, the Quran never mentioned Bible. Absolutely nowhere at all that the Quran said a Bible was given. No. The Quran mentioned about Torah, mentioned about Injil, mentioned about the book, the Suhuf. These are the books that Allah has mentioned. And we know it was given to Bani Israel, some of their messengers and prophets. We believe in that. But what we have today really have been compromised, have been changed. And the change is an ongoing trend. 
they keep changing. They keep changing their books. With the chairman, the moderator, in 2025, coming pretty soon, the new Bible is coming out. The brand new Bible is coming out in 2025. Why is it coming out? Because they say they have advanced, they have had so much information that, it, that, that, that need to be in the books, so they have to change it. It is an ongoing trend. The new revised standard version of 1973, when you look at the you know, preface, it says, the King James Version of the Bible have so many grave defects, grave defects, and these defects are so many and so serious, so we have to revise it. Why would you revise the book of Allah? Who are you to revise the book of Allah? So they revised it. The same thing is true with the new King James Version, not the one that you have. It is also being revised. They write the book at Beveric. And so why are they bringing a new book in 2025? Because the women in the world are complaining that anytime you open the Bible, when they refer to God Almighty, they say He. He. Why should God be He? He gotta be she also. Why should God be He? So the women, the advocate, the women advocate of uh, the world, they had a meeting in Beijing some four years ago in China to advocate the women that the Bible should be He stroke she. Not He. Because he represents the machoism of a man. So what, if, what a man can do, women can even do better. So these are the things that is going on. And Allah has said in the Quran that they are changing the book. Woe unto those who write the books with their own hand and then they say it's from Allah so that they will sell it and make some miserable money out of it. Then Allah said, Woe unto the hand that writes it and woe unto the money or the benefit that comes out of it. So to say that the Shahada and the five principles of Islam is in the Bible, that is absolute true. There is no forcing agenda. We can't force that to be in the Bible. It is plain. Because Allah gave us that information in the Quran. That whatever he gave to you, O Muhammad, it was given to the earlier prophet. Mm -hmm. We send down the book to you, O Muhammad, in truth. Confirming the other books that came before the Quran. The Quran will be a watcher, a guide over the books that came. So we know from the very beginning that whatever we do, they should be doing it even more. The Kalima Shahada, the profession that we have in Islam for someone to become a Muslim, it is written all over the Old and the New Testament. But you begin to wonder, why is it that they don't see all this thing? Why? How come they don't see all this thing? To give you an example, in the book of John, chapter 17, verse 3, for example, Jesus said, this is life eternal. What is eternal? That you go to heaven eternally. You want to live in heaven? This is it. What? Then Jesus said, the only one true God and the conjecture and separating God Almighty from Jesus. This is life eternal. The only one true God. That means we have a lot of false gods. So Jesus realized that. He said the only one true God and Jesus Christ whom thou have sent. In English, I'm not sent. And that is true. Because Jesus himself, he selected 12 Disciples, each one of them represent the 12 houses of Yaqub alayhi salam, Jacob, the Judah. And Jesus never go outside Jerusalem to preach the gospel. Never. 
not even once did he ever left Jerusalem. He was within where Allah sent him. An Arab woman, Mr. Chairman, an Arab woman came to Jesus Christ. He was in Jerusalem. The other Bible says she's a Greek. But most of the translators and Bible exegetes, they say she came from, you know, a Philistine. She's a Philistinian, an Arab. She saw Jesus Christ going out on the way. She ran unto him. And she said, Oh thou master, my daughter is possessed with the devil. Shaitan is bothering my daughter. Please heal her. You know what Jesus did? He turned his face around. And she came to the other side. She said, Oh thou son of David, please heal my daughter. You know what he did? He turned around. The third time, she said, Please have mercy, O thou son of David. Jesus didn't even look at her. He woke up and he began to walk. As he was walking, the woman was following them, crying, asking Jesus, begging him to heal her daughter who was possessed with the devil. Shaitan have taken over her. And she knew he had the power to do something. Then Peter the leader of uh, the you know uh, of the disciple he said master heal her for she is crying unto us she's making a scene heal her listen to what jesus said then jesus turned to peter he said peter it is not good to take the children's bread and give it to a dog like her subhanallah i don't believe that i don't believe jesus said that it is not good to take the children's bread and give it to a dog who is the dog? She, because she's a Gentile. And it was not given for the whole of mankind, not even to Palestine. It was meant for Israelites. A dog like her, subhanAllah. Then the woman, her face changed when he made those statements. Then she said, Master, even the dogs will eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. You're not going to give me the bread? All right. If you eat the bread, the crumbs that fall, I'm going to lick that one. And Jesus looked at her. He said, woman, let it be done as thou will. Greater is thy fate. Let it be done as thou will. Her will is to lick the ground. And that's what she did. She was healed for licking the crumbs that fall from the master's table. So all this attribution is not given. So me, according to this story, I've seen three things. Three. Number one, lack of mercy on the part of Jesus. If it is true, but it's not true. Lack of mercy on the part of Jesus if this narration is true, but we believe it's not true. Number two, I have seen racism on the part of Jesus if this narration it is true, but I know Jesus is not a racist. Number three, I've seen a woman who fought with Jesus, but at the end of the day, she was healed. At the end of the day, she was healed. So clearly, we are not taking, we take exception to all this information. Jesus came to proclaim one way of life, and that is the one that was given to earlier prophet. In Matthew 5, 17, Jesus said, Do not think that I, Jesus, I have come to destroy the laws of Moses and the other prophets that came before me. No, I did not come to destroy. I've come to fulfill. And I'm telling you, heaven and earth shall pass away, but a dot from the law shall not pass till all is fulfilled. And whoso therefore do the law of Moses and teach someone to do it will become great. But whosoever cancel a certain law from the book of Moses will become this in the kingdom of heaven. So what is Jesus trying to tell me and you? That he did not come with a new law. He did not come with anything that supersedes that of Moses. In fact, he was a Jew to the core. Can you imagine God, God Almighty is a Jew? God have tried. Why is God not Hausa? Man, why is he not Hausa? Why? Why would God take a tribe? Why is he not Fulani? Why is he not Kazada, Kazada and, and all this kind of stuff? Why? Why? Why is he not Yoruba? Why is he not evil? Why should God be a Jew? If God is a Jew, then he's a racist God. Logic complains that. That means the Jew is better. And of all the trade, I have a trade, you have a trade. The, of all the trade in the world, God didn't know any good trade to do like sophisticated profession, like internet, you know, like uh, 
uh, website, you know, signs. God didn't take. God was a carpenter. Can you believe that? With all due respect to carpenters, with all due respect, but God, according to them, is a carpenter. So all these things, uh, what is making Islam to be the dominant religion of the 21st century? All this information, it proves that God Almighty is just one, and the information technology that God gave all the prophets and messengers is just one. So the oneness of God is being established. The Ten Commandments, I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not worship any God before me. Thou shalt not worship any God in the heaven, in the earth below, in the depth of the ocean. Thou shalt not carve out any graven images and bow down to it. For I am God, a jealous God, who visits the generation, first, second, and third generation. Serious, man. That's serious. And the Quran gave us a beautiful Surah Al-Ikhlas. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. So if you think God Almighty is Ibrahim alayhi salam, at the back of your mind, mm, at the back of your mind, you think God is Abraham. You have a picture. You have a mental picture. In Islam, rejected. You think God is Moses. At the back of your mind, you have a mental picture. Rejected. At the back of your mind, Jesus is God. You know the picture of Jesus is rejected. So let me read. So the Quran really gave us an information that is so consistent with life and logic and reason. All right, I thought I was just, you know, but my time is up. Wow. Okay. Inshallah, my time is up. I've got to respect the chair. Got to respect. You always have to respect what the chair told you. My time is up. So definitely, I'm going to have a seat. Maybe some other time we will do justice to this topic. Hazabillahi Tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So that you could see the light. If you believe, you'll achieve. It is all in your mind. Help the needy with only a dime. Help the needy with only a dime. Abu Yasser is here to help. Allah na tuba, Allah na tuba, Allah na tuba. Sami Allah Isa 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 Allah Allah Allahu Akbar Tarukul Salati Majisurang Allah Tarukul Salati Mubarhi Matuba Yo, I'm going to be able to do my cozy Madaina Wasada Salah Majisurang Taruk al-Salati Majisurang Allah Taruk al-Salati Mubarhi Matuba Rana Radake Soro Ala Sama Chakada Imani Majisurang Allah Mubarwa Sada Salah Masaya matuba.